the Saudi Arabian Public Investment Fund PIF behind Newcastle United's takeover have backed a popular F1 team. Aston Martin has accepted the backing of controversial Newcastle United owner Saudi Arabian Public Investment Fund PIF. The Saudi backers will secure a 16.7% stake in the iconic car manufacturer to become its second-largest stakeholder. Aston Martin said it plans to raise £653 million through the investment. It is understood the Saudis will buy £78 million worth of shares as part of the New Deal and will also invest £575 million over a separate rice issue. PIF will be entitled to two seats on the manufacturer's board. Canadian boss Lawrence Stroll claimed the new partnership will help accelerate the company's long-term growth. However, Stroll's own business, Utree Holdings, will still remain the largest shareholder of the brand. Stroll's stake in the business will drop from 22% to 18.3%. Stroll explained, today's announcement marks the latest success in the evolution of Aston Martin, the restoration of the business and balance sheet we inherited, and the acceleration of our long-term growth potential. Around half of the investment will go towards repaying Aston Martin's mounting debts. The manufacturer announced debt of almost £1 billion at the end of March as the company continues to struggle. However, the rest of the deal will be used to accelerate future expenditure. It comes at a time when their F1 team is struggling under the new rules package with the team currently lying ninth, just in front of Williams. Stroll added, Aston Martin's return to the pinnacle of motorsport with the F1 team has also ushered in a new era for our iconic British brand. Our focus on building brand equity and unleashing the potential of Aston Martin is already delivering growing demand from a new generation of customers, with more than 60% new to the brand in 2021. Quote dot. Existing shareholders Mercedes-Benz will invest a further £56 million in the struggling carmaker. This means the German brand will own just under 10% of the business. Reports suggest it was looking to expand its ownership to 20% by 2023 before the new Saudi deal came to light.